Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we're playing the Rogue in the arena. We have one win so far, two losses, so we better start winning. Let's do this. Okay, we have a lot of early minions, but sometimes this run so far we have had trouble actually getting them. But uh, we have a free drop. I'm gonna hold on to that, see if we can get one of our one drops or at least a two drop. No such luck. At least we have a very good 4-drop, so that's nice, but... Would like to have something for the first two turns. At least the second turn. But hey, maybe our dagger will be useful. At least she had to toss most of her cards as well, so hopefully that means that she does not have what she wants. Okay, let's see. Play something, uh, a 2-1 or something. <laughs> Please. Coin out a loot hoarder? Nope! Okay. Well, that can be killed over the course of two turns. Wow, I could have used this last turn. This turn, it's not really that useful. Uh, I'm just gonna dagger up, hit that, and then finish it off next turn. And Sure, we're getting some value here, but... Then... She can play a free drop for two mana this turn. Well, let's see. Drink with me, friend. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, what now? Could play the Petition Blade, but I think I would rather play the Vase of Hunter. Let's see what she does. And then next turn we have options. You can combo into the Petition Blade if we need to. And with the Squire, you can play a Yeti, Storm with Knight. Okay, I think we play a Yeti, and then we just kill that off. So we do this, and play the Yeti. Okay, well we have a lot of ways to keep board control here with the petitions played on the backstab and a charge here. Hmm. Okay. Well, do we want to check for what it could be? With a bit, uh, squire, like in case it's a mere entity. I mean, I'm gonna attack with this one, I think. But uh, let's play this one to see how. Okay. Not mere entity. Could be vaporized, but it's usually not. However, let's play this one. It fits the curve. And I have like three, like a lot of free drops for next turn when I have six mana. Okay, so we're attacking with this first in case it is Vaporize. Ice Barrier, okay. Fair enough. Okay. So far, so good. That is not a very dangerous secret. Especially early on. Mm, right, so how do we want to kill that? We could backstab Peditions and then do 6 damage with that. And then also play Mitchie, maybe a Raging Walken. Something like this. And then I play that. Go for the face. And thankfully we do have two minions that have over four life. So we're not too weak to flame strike. She could fire blast one of them this turn. And if she fire blasts our Yeti here. That would be quite suspicious, but let's see. Okay, water elemental. Fire blast. Not on the Yeti. Okay. That makes me think that she does not have flame strike. I want to kill that. I don't want to be frozen. So we could do something like... I think she would have used Blizzard if she had it. I'm gonna go for... Like, just assume she doesn't have AoE, because if she has AoE, we're probably going to be in trouble anyway. Um, and I guess that's one of the reasons why Rogue can struggle a bit in Arena nowadays, like, because of all the mages. I mean, mages with their flame strikes just ruining our boards, and then we don't really have a way of finishing them. Uh, let's, uh, uh, should I eviscerate that? I think I will. And then just finish it that up. Off. Go for the face. Yeah, we're just gonna go all out. And if she has AoE, so be it. <laughs> I mean, 
then we just... Well, you know what? If she flame strikes here, we still have our Yeti. So that's 4 damage. She's already down to 11. So it's not hopeless. Even if she top deck the flame strike here, for example. Because she was like looking at the card she just drew, almost about to play it. I don't think it was flame strike. Good. Okay. Up to two wins. Right, let's play another game and maybe get something that is not a mage. Maybe get. I don't know. Just something else. <laughs> I'm facing so many mages. Uh, Okay, well, let's see. We have a priest. That is not a mage. So, happy about that. Okay, two eviscerates. Not necessarily what I want here early on. But uh, maybe hold on to one of them. We have the coin, so you know what? Let's hold on to our Twilight Drink as well. This seems reasonable. Okay, one drop. I mean, rather get this one played early on rather than top decking it later when it's gonna be a 4 1. Uh, let's start out with the squire here. See what he does. Alright. Then. I hope we draw one of our spell breakers. Mm. But for now, let's play an Ooze. Since it's not li very likely that he's gonna play any weapons, so I'm gonna hold. I wanna hold on to our old Baba. So maybe, maybe I'll get some use out of it later. Explosive sheep. Hmm. Hmm. Well then. How do we deal with this? Hmm. Yeah, indeed. We have Sap. We could use potentially Sap, but then he can just play it later anyway. And we don't have a Silence. I wish I had Spellbreaker here. Got <laughs> two of them. Um could open that up and then, uh, not really too happy about it uh, one. not opening it up just taking damage but then he can't attack with it next turn do free damage to the face do we play Okay. Oh man. I'm not sure that was the best move, but it's what came to mind, right? Then I just hope he doesn't have a way to activate the egg later. I mean, I've, I've, that was like a really, really awkward spot. I just, yeah, I was in deep thought there. I guess this is not too bad. We have a minion on the board, a dagger. Okay. Um, not liking that. We could kill it. Eviscerate. Could play that plus eviscerate. I would like to get the Twilight Drake out sometime, but at the same time, this soul piece is uh, really bothersome. So let's just um, get rid of it. Do that. Go for the face. And then next turn we have Spectral Knight. And then I probably play the Twilight Dragon turn 6 together with Dagger Up or if you draw a 2 drop or something. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hey, at least we still have some kind of board control. I just, I didn't want that 4 4 to spawn for him. And I, I felt like. Maybe that was like his way of activating the egg, right? Well, that's the egg again. 
Hopefully it's out of desperation and not because he has a plan. Like taunting it up. Still don't have our silence, but I guess we could draw it. Wow, okay, holy smite your own egg. That is desperation. I'm fine with that. Because that's basically... Yeah, okay, that was not a very good turn for him. I guess sometimes there's not much you can do. Oh, I wish we had a way of comporting into this. But we don't. And, like, the only thing we could play with it other than... Oh, it would be our own deck, uh, and that would just be hopeless. That would be silly. Uh, I think we play the Spectral Knight. And I, I'm just gonna go for the face here. Yeah? And then hope that he doesn't have Holy Nova, because... Well, Holy Nova, then he can clear the board. Thankfully, though, it would leave the board empty. Like, he wouldn't have anything on it himself either. But still, I, I hope he doesn't have that. The next turn... Yeah, our hand is not really very synergetic for next turn either. Unless we draw a 2-drop or something like that. Or maybe a 3-drop to go with the Petition's Blade. But at the same time, I really want the Twilight Breakout sometime before it becomes a 4-1. Well, I guess it would never become a 4-1, because it would always be a 4-2. Yeah. So otherwise, unless you top deck it. Okay, so we have this. Mm, get this down to a 3-3. Free free. We have this. We can't... God, we can't... We can only play one card. I mean, if we play the Twilight Drake, we can also dagger up. But that's... Ah oh, man, if only it damage to damage minions, but then it would probably be too good, right? We could run that into that, we could play a dark scale healer, then we can't dagger up. If you play this one, dagger up, can attack that once, then attack that. Still has that though, but at least we get this out. If we attack that. Just get rid of it. Go for the face here. Yeah, okay, that's reasonable. I mean, he's probably gonna kill the 4 4 with the 4 3. Then we still have an awkward hand. No two cards we can play together. In fact, that could have been an argument for playing a 5 drop instead, since then we gotta play Twilight Drake plus Petitions played next turn. But. Uh, yeah, it's. Just didn't fit. Hopefully we'll draw a two drop. Or four drop. Huh. What was that about? That did not unless he's gonna buff up the health. I mean, yeah, okay. No. Oh wait, what? How would shield? That was not done in the right order at all. <laughs> that was not good. For him, I mean. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's see what we can do. Again, the Dark Iron Skulker. Well, I guess I wanted to try it this run right, but honestly, I have not been impressed. It just doesn't seem to work very well, especially in the kind of deck we are playing, because we tend to keep the board relatively empty on the other side, so it's, it's hard to get value when you are doing that. So we could play Morgan, then finish that off like that. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, the only way we can play two cards is if we play these two, and I want to play two cards, so... I'll do this and uh, do that. And then I think we just go for the face, actually. Getting him down pretty low. And it seems like he doesn't have too much removal. So I'm just gonna try and rush him here. Let's see what he wants to kill the Vorgan or the Spectral Knight. Well, and again, Holy Nova could work out pretty well for him. He could attack there, holding over, and then this time he would actually have three mana left over. 
Okay. Well. Oh, okay. I guess that makes nasty spell make some kind of sense. But still. Could have been worse for us. Could also have been better though, since we don't exactly have much of a threat here. Okay. So now. What do we do? Oh man, we can still only play one card. <sighs> That's really rough. I guess we play. It's just. Yeah. It's just not that good, but... I guess we play this one. Yeah, then we'll just finish it off. We don't want him to draw extra cards. Go for the face here, back up. And then at least next turn we can finally play two cards. We've just been so unlucky with how the mana has fit together, as in, it has not fit together. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what you get. Not feeling too great though, because he has five cards, we are running out of steam here, we can't clear the board anymore. He is down to 13, but he's a priest, which means he has healing. But he's looking for something, not healing himself. Okay. What are you gonna do with your last six mana? Lights on. Could silence the lights on. Hmm. That could work out pretty well. Oh, interesting. But uh, then, uh, nah. I think we gotta silence that, and then we'll just play this one and go for the face. Yeah, I think that's the play. Could have silenced the North Check cleric, but. Honestly, he's so low, so now when he's like healing minions, I'm actually kind of okay with it, because that means he's not healing his face. I'm hoping that he cannot clear the board. Does it? Ah, but he has five cards. Hmm. No holy fire, please. That would be the worst. Like, holy fire. Heal up, kill a minion. No thank you. Okay. Not ideal, because it's a taunt. Oh, and I guess it will kill my 1-1, one, one, right? Maybe he forgets it has charge. <laughs> I think I've seen that happen before, when people just think of it as a taunt, right? Because you're not used to playing with it. And it's such a weird card. Charge and taunt. I think when I saw someone else not uh, attack with it when they played it, it was when a mage got it through an, uh, through an unstable portal. Still healing minions instead of himself, like... I mean, that's a little bit risky, but at the same time, of course, it does give him those cards. We need to get a bit more damage in here. Okay, well, I guess we play... Oh man, I wish there wasn't that taunt. It is actually kind of a problem. I've done so much more damage without it. All right, well, in turn. Ah, he can tack that into that, then he can kill that. Yeah, then we're left with very little. It's looking bleak, but uh, not impossible. And he has made mistakes before, so <laughs> maybe maybe he'll make some more mistakes and they hand us the win. Oh boy, 
well, that's not what I wanted to see. But maybe it'll make him careless and make him like go for the face or something silly. And then we will get our, our second spellbreaker and then we will kill him. Or maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Wow. He really does love to draw those cards. He already has such a card adventure, though. Oh well. What can I say? I mean, he's winning here, so... <laughs> Jeez. He's drawn eight cards more than us. Well, there's that Spellbreaker. Let's do that. Go for the face. And... I think I'm gonna go for the face with this one too. Again, like, if you wanna heal minions... I'm okay with that. You're so low. Uh, do we have... Oh, the thing is, if you draw an uh, Viscerate, we can't combo into it anyway. And it's not like we don't have any Acid Drakes or anything. In fact, we barely have any card draw. I think we have a Loot Hoarder and that's about it. <laughs> okay, this time he he got scared. He doesn't know if I have like an Acid Drake into Viscerate. He doesn't know. Oh, okay. Looks like he's probably going to clear the board though, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that he could of course that was that was quite optimistic. In fact, I think he could clear the board even without that, so yeah, very optimistic. But again, he has made some mistakes, so okay. Wow, so close. How much damage does he have on the board? 9, 14, 15, 17. Yeah, he's lethal on board if you don't uh, clear something. So, I guess we gotta do that. 9, 14, 15, 17. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can kill that and go for the face. <laughs> oh man. Holy Nova would be like the perfect way to finish this off. Like attack into the face with everything, take us down to two, two life, Holy Nova, kill the minion, kill us, heal up your minions, draw cards, win the game. Just do it that way, please. <laughs> oh boy. Is there a way? Nah, I don't think so. He would make, need to make some pretty major mistakes for that to happen. Ah, this guy's yeah. Well, he missed lethal. <laughs> he could have done to go into the base with that. He will realize that now. But okay, let's see our last card here. Ah, backstab. Well played. That is not gonna work. So close, but not quite there. Wow. Disappointing run. I just... Ah man, rogues and arena. You don't really seem to be too hot lately. Some people say it's working for them, but honestly I'm not seeing a lot of other people playing rogue when I play, so... I have a feeling that overall you're not doing that great in arena right now. Let's uh, see what we get in our pack here. Okay, epic. So it was not all for naught. Well, let's see what we get for our next run here. We have Priest, Druid, or Hunter. Let me know what you think I should pick. And as always, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!